Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all doing fantastic today. It's Trey Davis, and in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you my experience with these daytime raw optics blue light blocking glasses. So first, let's start with the fact that most blue blocking glasses on the market today actually don't block blue light. And this is something I didn't know for many, many years and I kind of just went off into the arena of blue light blocking glasses and bought the first ones I saw. And I didn't actually know that it needed to provide protection between a certain frequency, right? Certain nanometers. I discovered that most blue blocking glasses on the market don't provide protection past 420 nanometers. And essentially what that means is they don't provide the protection at the frequency where it's needed the most. So it actually took me a while to stumble upon the right kind of blue blocking glasses. And that's the ones you see I'm wearing on my face today. The Raw Optics Daytime Blue Light Blocking Glasses, which have a special pigmentation specifically designed to absorb the blue light frequency between or right at that 420 nanometers uh, range where we need it to be to actually be effective with blocking blue light, with absorbing that blue light. So this is very important to me as somebody that takes their personal health very seriously. I am someone who's on my device for many hours a week as a content creator. And this is why my message also goes out to content creators. Anybody who's on their device for long periods of time, consider the daytime blocking glasses simply with the fact of long-term exposure, right? I'm already putting out the clarion call to people that the constant exposure to this frequency, this isolated frequency with the bare eye, think about it, hours and hours a day is detrimental to the health of the eye. And so for me, that's important to take care of also knowing how light affects the glands and the hormonal release, right? So we want to make sure the efficiency of the glands remain great, remain in a good state. So we're releasing the proper hormones, the messengers of the body at the correct times. So what I do is first thing when I wake up, before I get on my phone, I make sure I locate these and put them over my eyes. And then I go on my phone and start to create and do all the things I want to do that day. And what I've noticed from the beginning to now, something I could tell you guys I've noticed is that in the beginning stages, of applying these consistently. Something I noticed with my sleep cycle, my sleep pattern, is that my dreams were more vivid, right? right? I went from not really remembering my dreams to applying these and to initially remembering those dreams more vividly. And now it's to the point to where I'll be back into, I'm back into the flow of a vivid dream almost to where, you know, vividly dreaming consistently to almost to where you can't distinguish between the dreams and reality. So I would say it's safe to say that the consistent application of blocking blue early and like right in the day and in the night plays into the circadian rhythm, right? Supports the circadian rhythm, supports the proper hormonal release supports your sleep and what is more important than that, right? And so that's really the driving main point behind all of this is that our collective increased exposure to blue light, artificial light everywhere, light poles, um, screens everywhere, always looking at them, bare eye um, is the issue, right? The increased exposure that is causing right the health the health effects do matter right it's causing humans it's causing us to further lose balance in the realm of sleep and if we lose balance in the realm of sleep it affects everything right because that's the foundation so it affects your ability to heal recover 
repair, affects your mental clarity, affects everything. And so you can see how a simple application, like being efficient and cognizant about the light or you're exposed to, has a chain reaction effect. So I really just wanted to share my experience with you guys. It's important to get the right kind of blue blocking glasses. Don't waste your money on those brands out there that don't block the proper frequency ranges. And so a simple application, if you are interested, if you are ready, if you want to see the difference with applying these over your eyes, look in the description box below here for more information, learn more about blue light, learn more about the effect on the human body, all that can be found below. And I invite people also to share your experience. What is your experience with blue light? What are you doing to mitigate? And really, I appreciate you guys all for tuning into this video. And I hope and wish for a beautiful day for you all moving forward. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.